If you don't like the direction that things are going in our country, then do something about it. If you think that having the same management class in Washington, D.C. is going to turn things around, it's not. I am putting everything I have on the line to try to not just fight half of the establishment, but to fight the entire establishment. So are you going to stand with me? Or are you going to just sit at home, continuing to scroll on your phone and complaining to your family, to your friends, to your neighbors, to your colleagues, that you don't like the direction our country is headed, but not ever really do anything about it? For those of you who think that an independent candidate can't win a congressional race in the United States, I'm going to show you how I'm going to win California's 10th district. And if you can't tell, I'm a little bit fired up because what I have here is detailed voter registration information for California's 10th congressional district. And I'm going to show you the numbers and it will shock you how favorable this district is for an independent candidate to win this year. A caveat, this does not include the small sliver of Alameda County that is also in California's 10th Congressional District, but it's only about 10% of the total district, and the breakdown is going to be about the same as the demographics for the larger Contra Costa County. So here are the numbers. There are about 228,000 registered Democrats. There are about 98,000 registered Republicans. There are about 17,000 voters registered with the American Independent Party. And there are 103,000 voters that are registered with no party affiliation. And there are 10,000 voters that are other parties, such as the Green Party or the Libertarian Party. So this is the voter registration breakdown for California's 10th district. And I actually think the people who registered with the American Independent Party we're trying to figure out how to just register as independent voters, which is the same as no party affiliation. So I actually believe that all of these combined, 120,000, are what we consider independent voters. So these are the numbers for California's 10th Congressional District. And here's why they are very important. California has what's called an open primary which means that all of the congressional candidates run against each other regardless of what party they belong to. And the top two advance to the general election in the fall. And only those two candidates will appear on the ballot. Could a Republican win the district in a general election? Probably not. Even in the current environment where lots of people are dissatisfied with the direction of the country, that is why our district has historically been very blue. But can an independent win this district in the fall? Let's assume that I'm one of the two that makes it to the general election. And let's assume that I'm able to carry all 120,000 of the independents and all 98,000 Republicans, because I don't think that in the current environment, Republicans are going to switch to the other side and vote for a Democrat in the next election. So just stay with me. If we put all of those together, that is going to put my base of support at 218,000 voters, combining these two. There's another 10,000 sitting out here that are perhaps Green Party, perhaps Libertarian Party, or some other party. So let's just entertain for a second that I were able to get all 10,000 of these voters. That would bring my total up to 228,000. If I pull these voters in. Does that 228,000 number look familiar? That's exactly how many registered Democrats there are. I have always historically leaned left in a lot of my voting, but I've always been a registered independent because I've always voted for good Republican candidates whenever I saw them. I think a lot of people in this election are feeling the same way that I am, and they are not happy with the direction of the country. And the presidency is controlled by the Democrats, the Senate is controlled by the Democrats, and until just recently, the House was controlled by the Democrats, and our country is not going in the right direction. 
how many of these Democrat voters are going to leave the party and vote for an independent candidate in the next election. I think a lot of them are going to. So what happens if all of a sudden 50,000 of these registered Democrats decide they're not going to vote Democrat in the next election and they're willing to support an outsider, an anti-establishment candidate, someone who is not a career politician, someone who has not been in office before, and they're willing to try a new kind of leadership to make a change happen. Then this number drops to 178,000 and this number jumps to 278,000. That's how I win California's 10th congressional district. Do you know what the voting split is here? It's 61% to 39%. What happens if there are so many Democrats that are disaffected and are willing to try something different this year that 100,000 of these Democrats come over and are willing to vote for an independent candidate? That puts this number at 128,000 and this number up to 328,000. Do you know what that split is? It's 72% to 28%. So can an independent win a congressional race this year? These are the numbers. California's 10th Congressional District can be the district that sends a clear, blinking, neon, billboard, sign message to the establishment to say, we've had enough. We are going to try something completely different. If you don't like the direction that things are going in our country, then do something about it. If you think that having the same management class in Washington, D.C. is going to turn things around, it's not. I am putting everything I have on the line to try to not just fight half of the establishment, but to fight the entire establishment. So are you going to stand with me or are you going to just sit at home continuing to scroll on your phone and complaining to your family, to your friends, to your neighbors, to your colleagues that you don't like the direction our country is headed, but not ever really do anything about it? Or are you going to go to my website, independentjoe.com, and contact me? My cell phone is on the website, you can call me. My email is on the website, you can email me. You can fill out the form, you can sign up for our newsletter, you can share the videos, you can subscribe to the social media channels, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, wherever you are, that's where I am, at Joseph J. Sweeney. I just showed you how we can turn things around. I'm not a Republican. I'm not a Democrat. I'm the alternative. It's time that we break the two-party system, turn our country around, and restore the power over Congress to the people. The choice is up to you.